Hey guys, how's everyone doing? All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how to write JavaScript. This video is for Python developers. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing, as you can see in my screen, is comments. So in Python, you comment with S. In JavaScript, you comment with forward slash. You, you, you guys might already know this, but you know, whatever. It's a good start. Um, and, the first, uh, and the other thing is where can you run JavaScript? Uh, so in, our, in, in good old days, JavaScript was only for browser. When, when you say JavaScript, JavaScript only runs in browser, you can't do anything much with it. Then came Node.js, which completely changed the game, right? Now um, you, could run, you, can, you can run JavaScript on server, you can run, even run JavaScript on devices, if the device has a special program called JavaScript engine. So when, uh, when a browser or Node.js or any other um, devices um, uh, compiles JavaScript, they do it by a JavaScript engine. Uh, if you want to know more about it, feel free to go to Mozilla website and they will have a, a lot of information on it. Okay. And the other thing is JavaScript version. So which one you should be using? Um, is it like Python 2 and 3? Hopefully, um, but no. No, it's not like Python 2 and 3. Uh, actually, for a long time, JavaScript evolved without any compa compatibility issues, uh, which has a lot of advantages, but some pains as well. Um, any imperfect decision that was initially made by the JavaScript creators uh, got stuck in the code forever. Right, uh, so in 2009, they released a new version of JavaScript called EC YAML Script uh, 5. Uh, in short, it is called ES5, uh, which modified the existing code base as well. Um, so, um, but even by default, it doesn't um, mo it doesn't modify the the existing code base. So. Always start your JavaScript code with use strict. Um, this will tell your compiler, whatever, your JavaScript engine to only use a modern compiler, okay? Um, the main reason for doing this is eventually they will uh, kill the features that are stale. So it's always, so if you're writing JavaScript now, it's always a good idea to make sure it's not a legacy code after a month, right? Um, so always start your JavaScript with use strict. That's like a must. And the other thing is in indentation. So in Python, we have a, we all love indentation. Some might hate it if uh, for, you know, like a few days, but you get used to it, you know? Um, in JavaScript, we use curly braces. Instead of, instead of indentation, that, that's how we structure code. Um, but also, um, you know, like bring along the habit of your indentation from Python to JavaScript to make your code more readable. Everyone will appreciate the readable code, right? Yep. And the other thing is variables. Um, so how do we define variable in JavaScript? Um, you might actually, you might have seen uh, a lot of um, people defining variables like this, especially in the legacy code, there's nothing wrong with it, but don't use it. Um, so this is already a stale uh, JavaScript. Now we use a special keyword called let to um, define the variable. If you have something like a constant values, uh, value, let's say like a secret key or something um, that will never change, then you want to use constant. It's, always, it's also a good idea to uh, capitalize whatever uh, variable you are declaring in constant like hey there you know blah 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 and the other thing is you you need to tell um, your code has ended with semicolon in Python you're, you didn't have to do that in JavaScript you had to but you can't uh, use reserve names like let class return and function and even constant uh, to define the variable name. Okay, that's like pretty much given. Um, and the next thing we're going to talk about is data type. Um, so same as Python in JavaScript, um, thankfully, um, variables is dynamically typed, meaning you don't have to specify 
the type of a variable while declaring it unlike in java or other uh, you know other c or c plus uh, plus c sharp even i think i haven't used c sharp to be honest um uh, but in javascript you don't have to do that um and let's talk about the various data types uh, let's talk about string first uh, you can use a single code and double code just like just like in Python um, hi and you can also do um, oh actually since I have uh, just so you know guys since I have already defined a variable here so I won't have to use let again otherwise my compiler will complain and and the code will error out error out um a high and the other thing i'm going to do is um, i can also define a variable like this um and i can also use what we what we do in python as a as a format so in python we we, we might do something like um if a name equals to programming race uh, to say hi we might do something like print um, hi format name right um, so in JavaScript you can do something similar but using a uh, back code right um, so I'll show you how, how to use that back tick actually um, I'll show you how to use that so for that you will do something like let um, name equals to programming race um, and then and then you can use back tick like that yeah that's it um, so with back tick uh, you can also do arithmetical expression inside the back tick uh, so uh, I'll show you how to do that 1 plus 2 so this will also work um, but uh, if you do a normal double or single code it will just treat it as a normal string as you guys can imagine and then just print it out uh, the other data type is boolean which is same like in python except um, everything is small case unlike in python it's a camel case okay it's a it's a title or a camel case um, and in python we have uh, a non variable in javascript we have two different kind of non uh, it's it's a null and undefined okay so null is basically a non type um, so a variable has a variable has been declared and variable has a value but the value is null so null is like exactly the same as non in python but undefined, it's, it's a bit different. Meaning, undefined is a variable type uh, which has been declared, but not but the value has not been assigned. So, so uh, let's go to a node terminal here. And if I do let A, as you can see, I have a um, variable a declared but there's no value in it so it's undefined um, we can also check the type of uh, object um, like using type so in this case it's undefined in python you can just use type and the other interesting feature of javascript is type conversion so when you try to um, concatenate a string and an integer in Python, it will error out because they're, they're different data types. In JavaScript, um, JavaScript will automatically convert the values uh, to the right type. Okay? So meaning if you try to uh, concatenate a string and an integer, then it will treat integer as a string and then concatenate. I'll show you guys how it looks like. One. Uh, this can be a bit confusing guys so just bear in mind that this is how it is um, and the other thing is logical operators in python we have r and and not equals to in javascript that's the same thing 
pretty much in every programming language it's the same thing but the syntax it's a bit different yeah r is referred to as double standard stick whatever you want to call it um like this um and is referred to as two and percent and not equals to is same thing um and other interesting thing is when you do equals to comparison um javascript again will do the automatic type conversion so if i try to see if a string and an integer with the same value is equals to or not javascript will say it is equals to okay it's good um but in python obviously that's a that's not the same case but in javascript you can also um tell to check uh, to compare without actually doing the type conversion okay uh, i'll show you how to do that one box yep you can't do that um all right guys uh, that's it for this video in the next video we'll talk about functions uh, we'll talk about arrays dictionaries um, classes and we should be all covered and you can write you can take a javascript to the next level all right guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe there should be a subscribe button here somewhere in the uh, in the screen please click on it and i'll see you guys in the next one